There's an organization in the Department of the Treasury called the Taxpayer Inspector General for Tax Administration, lovingly called TIGTA. And the office of TIGTA is to basically monitor the IRS and make sure that the IRS is doing the things they're supposed to be doing and how efficiently they're doing it. So they're kind of like a watchdog over the IRS. And they came out with an analysis of the IRS in terms of their enforcement actions with cryptocurrency. And what they found was that... Fifty percent of the enforcements were moving towards criminal enforcement rather than audit enforcement, and this is in, this is consistent. This recent uh, report is consistent with what we've been saying for the last two years: is that it is easier for the IRS to go after people for criminal tax evasion or fraud than it is to try to do a full-scale audit on their cryptocurrency for underreporting. And since we know that roughly 75% of all investors are not reporting their crypto income and actions uh, on their tax returns, there's a lot of people that this affects and a lot of voters that this affects. The IRS, if they think that you filed a tax return but didn't report your cryptos, you're going to get a CP2501 or a CP2000 letter. The CP is a numbering that's at the top uh, right of the letter, basically saying, we know you didn't report some income, typically from a crypto exchange, and they'll list the total amount that was came in, and you have to explain it. Now, a lot of people didn't even respond to these when they put them in their tax return, or if they did, they thought the numbers were wrong and ignored them. But either way, uh, if you get one of those letters, you need to call our offices immediately to assist you. If you respond correctly, promptly, you can resolve this matter very fast. And if possible, avoid any additional taxes if you did report your cryptos. But you need to act quickly. Failure to act quickly can make these problems get worse and prolongate them, requiring you to have to go to appeals. The other letter that's going out from the IRS is a CP59 letter. And this is a letter that will be issued saying, we know that you had income, but you didn't file a tax return and you need to file that. And if that's your situation I, and you have unreported crypto income, please contact us right away. We can uh, help prevent that from going to a more critical escalation by the IRS by staying in touch with them. Calculate your correct income that you should report and then prepare tax returns to resolve that. This is the type of thing that if you don't address a CP59 right away, then your life will get miserable quite fast because the IRS will then unleash collectors and start to seize money and assets. So either way, it's important that, especially for all crypto investors, now that we're looking at a bull market that's taking off, that you're going to start to make money off your assets, that you take the time to make sure that you're consistent, you're up to date on your taxes, and if not, to set aside some of your your future earnings to pay back taxes. The IRS has all the time in the world to come after you, and they know your name, they know who you are, and if you don't report it, there's no statute of limitations on IRS coming after you. You owe it to your future self to, to get straight with the IRS now. They're using advanced tools. The new IRS is very sophisticated, and you're not going to be able to hide from them. Thank you very much for listening to today's show. And I hope you enjoy it. Please give us comments. We would love to respond to any questions you give us. If you have tax questions that we can apply to. We will try to address it in future shows. Please hit like, subscribe, follow. Thank you. Have a great day.